Hello, my dear guest. Sometimes you will need to create functionality to allow user to print a page very easy for him. So let's uh, look into our end product and see what we can do. So imagine that you have a page with title and a table and two buttons. Also, you will have like a header. But what user cares about is only the data in this table. He doesn't want to see these buttons. So I've already created this page and this is how it will look like. It will be just table and maybe we will have in our we'll have um, a title. So if we go into our uh, testing page when we try to print it, we see we have buttons and we have everything that we do not need. For example, this welcome and user tutorial form. We do not care about. We only need this table and maybe title. So let's go into our code and see our code. We'll have title, icon and table. Also, the buttons will be in separate component. And let's see our TS file. It's just a material table with some data that we assign to the table. So first what we need to do is when user presses this button, we need to print page. So I will create a click event with print page. In print page, you have two options. You can use global window and use print. So when we go back to our code, you can see that it works. But maybe you have restrictions and you cannot use global objects. In this case, you can import and constructor it. So let's say window and it will be a type of window, but it, it will not work because there is no such service like a window. But we can add it. We navigate to our app modules and we can provide window and use value window. So in this case, we are creating a window service that will use a window object. And now we can use it. This window print. Let's go into our page. And when we press, it will print it. Also, uh, do not forget, in this case, I've already uh, done it with this pointer because you want to indicate for the user that this is clickable, you can do it with cursor pointer. But it's better to add a class and uh, add everything in there. So now when we hover it, you will see this pointer. And it's pretty easy indication for the user that this icon is clickable. Next step, let's remove buttons. So to remove buttons, we can use media and print. So you can actually set up CSS for printing page. And here we will add button visibility hidden, but this will not work. The reason why it doesn't work because our buttons are in separate component and unfortunately it doesn't affect them. If we just add in our, uh, in our user component, we can, if we just take, for example, this button, and just import it here. When we print, there is no this button. 
this is just for you to know. The solution can be pretty easy. We can just move this code into, into our buttons component. And now when we print, you can see there is no such button and there is this back button, but we can remove it because there is no need for it. So now when we print, okay, there is no table. There are different ways of solution to it. Another solution will be also to make media print. We can make two classes, printable, and here we will have visibility visible and non-printable. Visibility will be hidden. Now, because we have these classes, for example, there is no need to see this icon. I can add a class, non-printable. And now when we print, you can see there is a title, but there is no such button. This can be also a solution. But now we have a problem with user tutorial and form and our header. And here's a solution. There are, can be different solutions. I will show two ways. First is uh, we can navigate to our styles CSS when there are uh, global. And what we can do is we can use our Again, media, print, we can make the whole body, let's say visibility, hidden. But only leave our user component, we can add class, printable. In this case, when we try to print, everything will be hidden. But this is drawback because it's global. When we navigate to other page and there is no printable class, when we try to print, there will be no data. You need to look into your use case and see what actually good for you. Another solution will be that I actually used is uh, do not make everything hidden. Just let's remove it. What we can do in printable, we can make this uh, our like table to go on top of everything. And we can achieve this with this uh, top zero, left zero, and position absolute. Now when we print, you can see it's on top of every uh, our object. And there is a small fix to for sure not to see what is behind is to make background color white. we achieved what we wanted. We have table with a title and user just needs this information. I hope this helps you. Never isolate yourself. Have a great day. Bye.